Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. I'm still getting used to not doing where we try to achieve 100% intro. It's just not right. Something about it. Ooh, forgotten to mega sit. And that's a bit saucy. That's a little bit saucy. I like it. Let's jump in. Let's go. Let's have a fun time as the Forgotten. Forgotten's always just a blast of a character. I mean, everyone that plays Forgotten loves him. I'm just bad at him. <laughs> um... Ooh, and forgot that that would work that way, but there was a heart there anyway. So we've got the reflected. That's pretty good. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, yes. I know Curse Penny is a bag of garbage, but I'm going to grab it because... Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry to completely interrupt my train of thought there, but really... Okay, it doesn't matter. We can open them both. Um, yeah, I was going to say, Curse Penny is actually pretty good because we can get ourselves into some secret rooms and stuff. And then immediately the game was like, um, how about a better trinket? <laughs> Dice Bag is, is very, very good for us here because um, we can do stuff like this. Oh, they, they literally spawned on me. I wasn't, <laughs> didn't expect that to happen. Okay, um, but yeah. It's very, very useful. Uh, I mean, also, it gives us D4, which allows us to do a little bit of uh, cheeky re-rolling with items that may not be so good. Um, I don't really know why I came in here, I'll be honest, but... I should probably go and try and grab that rock. I know it's going to cost us two bombs to do so, but it can be pretty good. There you go, like that. Um, so let's grab that first. Do you know what? I'm, th I'm feeling it here. We got a D1 on the on the pill there, which gave us that. Okay. Um, and this is a secret room, right? Okay, this is uh this has been lucrative. Full health. Addicted. All we do, basically the only thing we don't want is a health down. That would be pretty devastating. But not too bad of a red key usage there. Not too bad, not too bad. That's a full health that we should probably carry with us, but I do want to keep my red rune about. Let's carry that, and let's go find our item room. But it just means, like, whatever item room we get, we could re uh, turn it into a, a little flyboy for us, a little uh, a little locust. But, yeah, also, getting the occasional D4 from the dice bag means that we can re-roll bad stuff into other stuff. We will not be re-rolling that in any way, shape, or form. Uh, that is a very, very good item for us. And we'll skedaddle skadoodle, I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Secret room, it is plausible for it to be here. Uh, very plausible indeed, so let's go for that. Parasitoid Tears is just real good. Um, oh, okay. Just a bunch of pennies. I like pennies. We got up to 10. Let's blow this up and see what we can get out of this. And then maybe we'll go buy that shop item as well. Like, I can't remember what it was now. I think it's the one where when you complete a room, you get a chance to, buy, uh, to get shop items. Um, yeah, I actually think that's pretty good. Like, it's not the best for us right now because um, we don't have much money. But later on, it could be pretty good. Also, I, I really like the costume on the Forgotten here. It looks really good. It kind of looks like from the back or the side, he's got horns. But then from the front, it's just greed. But yeah, if we get like a, a kind of dookie item here out of... Um, no, I want to try and kill the fetus first. If we get kind of a dookie item here out of uh, this boss fight, we can red rune it to feel a little better about ourselves. <laughs> okay, there you go. I love the fucking custom boss bars. So good. Like this. This is a perfect example of one that I just don't particularly care about. Um, grab those. And now we've got um, four little flies following us about. Little locusts to help us on our merry way. Which I think is going to be very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's go ahead. We get the D1 in this room. Which I do think... I'm not sure if the D1 does, does work on... It does. Okay. D1 does work on trinkets, so in any room that we get the D1 in, eternal D6 in this room, we should at least attempt, it's going to be kind of a hard dodge, um, we should at least attempt in any room we get the D1 in to produce another trinket, even though this trinket is really good, being able to get another trinket would be really, really nice. So we can pick that up, we can then go to drop that, and then we can D1. And we're just going to see what we get. We are on an XL floor here as well, which is good to know. 
Honestly, my reflection's really good here. Also, a lot of money, because it just gives us a crazy amount of range, which obviously, as the Forgotten, is real good. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Right, and here we should probably just go for a reroll and see if we can get something a little better. I actually think that's worth it. Box of Spiders is it got a pretty big buff from Repentance. People seem to still underestimate it. It produces a lot more spiders. We do have the slight issue of our range being quite high and it like being a little far away from our body, as you can see. So it's a little bit of an issue, but it's not a terrible issue. Um, okay, we got this guy. We don't have any bombs for him, unfortunately. Would make this fight significantly easier. Do you know what would make it easier? If I didn't walk right into the first shot he fired at me. Okay, he's doing his little thing now. Remember, we've got flight if we need it. If he blocks off a, a path and we can't get by. Yeah. Should be good here. There you go. Honestly, Whirling Leech is pretty good, especially on this floor. Grab that. Oh, did that give us a health up as well? I did not know Whirling Leech gave a health up. Let me just quickly go back and um, and grab the uh, the heart that's over here. In fact, I could probably play out the rest of this floor now and um, and go for our shop. God damn, yeah, our little flies are doing a great job right now. So I could D10 this room, but I feel like whenever you D10, you're always disappointed with the result. Here's our shop. Look at that range we've got from my reflection. So good. It's kind of a hard, uh, a hard dude to fight here. I'm going to try and take him out with the flies from a distance. There you go. I'm going to get another bunch of spiders here. Let's pop in here and see what we get. We do get the D4. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with what we got right now. I don't think D4 is really worth much to us. So let's uh, leave that as it is. Sadly, we are missing out on one shop here. We could go for our extra bosses with the Mirror Realm and get two extra boss items. We'll see what our second boss ends up being because it could be Clostomir. Boom, bow. And a key. I'm liking my whirling leeches as well for if I get hit. There you go. Exactly like that. And we got that going on. Oh, sadly, we don't have any bombs. Oh, actually, I've got flight, though. I'm an idiot. I always forget this character has built-in flight. I mean, also, we could just do that and pick things up over the gaps. Be careful of you. Right. Drop our trinket again. Just gonna D1 it to try and produce a new trinket. We did get something new. Old book. Picking up a active for the first time gives you a respective wisp. That's actually pretty good, but I don't think it's better than the dice bag. Oh damn. That is a lot of stuff. Okay. Blue streak is potentially pretty good. I think we'll I think we'll take blue streak here. Okay, that, that spawning shop items and clearing rooms uh, pops off sometimes, does it? Seems that way. Certainly seems... You're going to spawn leeches that kill you, aren't you? <laughs> you literally commit suicide via leeches. That's kind of funny. Right. Go fight our next boss. It is costing me. I'm not going to do the double boss battle. It's just not worth it. Colostomy is too hard of a fight. And also, to be honest, Wormwood is, is, is pretty difficult as well, or at least can be. So I'm just not going to bother. Get over there, my fly friends. And we've got the D6 in this room as well. So, honestly, yes. Okay, that wasn't better, but I'm, I'm glad we went for it. And then in here, we do get black chests. Okay, I don't think our items are worth buying, I'll be honest. But... I do think... This is worth going for at least a little bit. Another burn heart. Little Abaddon. Beautiful. These black chests are a bit spicy. That one just gave us a bunch of money. And some troll bombs. We can go pretty hard on this because we don't need soul heart health for much. 
Drops all your soul hearts on the floor. Didn't we try this before and it just didn't drop them? Yeah, it just gives you half a soul heart. <laughs> if you do it like that. The fact that it can give you black sacks that then give you, um... <laughs> that then give you a black heart is kind of crazy. We also got a spin down dice here. Okay. So... I think we spin down and see what we get. Lump of coal, kind of interesting. Heartbreak is a hard one to take, hard one to sort of get excited about here, but I will take that. Luck down, don't really care. Health down, I do care, but we did just get that um, that heart, so I don't really care. And then we got cyanide. God damn it. Game's been mean to me. Question. We'll take a black rune. So that, that was kind of a bit of positive, big, a bit of negative. Um, neither more one than the other. But we came out of that kind of smelling like roses, really. We came out of that pr in a pretty good state. Let's just look for where our secret rooms could be. I'm pretty sure I know where one of them is. Check this out. Reflected again. Just because we got so much money from that. This should uh, fund our um, our shops that spawn. And then second secret room's kind of a bit up in the air here. We've also got a lot of speed now, which is real nice. Um, I think it's here. There you go. Hey, this is pretty good. Um... I don't know if we if we sleep in the bed as the soul, do we get the three soul hearts? I mean, I doubt it, but I've got to try. We do. Okay. Okay. And then I think we go over here with this. Goddamn, our range. Oh, look at this. I can stand right next to it and not even hit the chest. My range is that high. So i got to be a little careful of that. We got fit. Hell yes. This is a very good secret room here. Okay, no crawl space though. But now we've got actual flight, which is going to help out a ton. I mean, I don't forget to use flight. People don't shout at me. Um, let's go to the mines. I know we've not got the key piece. I don't really care. I just want to go to the mines for going to the mines sake. we got the D1 in here again. Uh, let's um, drop this on the floor. Grab that. Is it not control to swap? There you go. Um, D1. We got this, which is foiled... Cards appear more often. Nah, I'm still gonna stick with my dice. We're doing it until we maybe get something good, but we don't we don't have to end up switching. A D12 in a room with no rocks. Hell yeah. D20 in here. Um Do you know what? Hell yes. Whoa. That worked out. That worked out just great. Oh, what the hell's this? I've not seen this before. Spawns a random devil pickup item near the user. It can spawn either an item, burn heart, black heart, rotten heart, or black sack. Interesting. It sounds pretty good. I don't know if it takes anything from us when it does it. Um, uh, I was like, what the hell's left in this room? Some more Ipecac enemies chilling around here. I don't think we're going to want to play that out. We do have this D7 as well, remember? Oh, this guy's become our friend. Nice. I didn't realize. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tinted rock. And we got Mum's Ring as well. Hell yes, Mum's Ring. Hell yes. Well, here was. See if we get a crawl space. We did not. I don't know if Lump of Coal is taking any effect, by the way. You see? Look at this. Okay, and then we'll take this. I don't really want to be taking damage, but... Good, good. Goddamn. We are we are on an absolutely great forgotten run here. We got a D100 this time. I don't think I'll be using that. Oh, you found our secret room for us, though. Thank you. Okay, you have to use a red heart for him, though. I'm not going to take him. 
While he is very, very good, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it right now. Where's the other ghosts? Oh, fuck. You lose so much money when you get hit. Broken Murdom is a 100% take. My god. God damn. Our speed being tied to our money is a bit jarring, I will say. Broken Murdom. Oh my god, it's just the king. It's so good. Data Miner? No thank you. We got Honeycomb. I don't know what Honeycomb does. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Encyclopedia, inventory. I love the encyclopedia. So useful for situations like this. Upon being hit, spawn five to eight bees in a puddle of honey creep. Bees act like blue flies, but deal less damage and poison enemies. Bees can be carried across rooms. You are immune to honey creep slowing effect. Interesting. I'll do this. I was right to do so. We've not even need to use our soul at all here. It's been great. These dudes hit me a lot, so let's try and take care of you first. The, the flesh maidens, as they're called. I'm loving the uh, the look of these mushrooms here. This respray of them for this floor. I've not really been using uh, Little Abaddon all that much, but it's just because he kind of doesn't really fit into our equation right now. Oh, God. Now, that was kind of tough. You got it there? We got it. Sad looting gets used the D6 there. Right. Keep her going. Got the D8 again. Oh, all the money. Money is speed. Okay, I love it when he does that. Takes enemy's projectile and just deletes it. Oh, god damn it. Just lost all my hecking money there. Oh god, yeah, all my money's gone. It's it's part of the job. <laughs> You do have to uh, currently realize, though, that one more hit and we lose a burn heart. Would not be something we want. Oh, these guys are, like, respritted for this floor as well. I think we got ghosties coming in. Yeah, we do. God damn ghosties. You, you need to calm down, fella. Is that just the two of them? Really? Okay. Oh my god. That was not what I was expecting at all in the enemies for this stage. Okay, like, stay back, stay back. Old bandage is pretty good. We'll take that. There's a heart somewhere about, so we'll take that too. And I guess we'll check in here. Well, you can't give us a lump of coal unless we can have two lumps of coal, so... Apparently, we can have two lumps of coal. Did not know that. <laughs> Don't know how valuable that's going to end up being, but... We now have two lumps of coal. Uh, I don't really think that's worth anything to us. Not that we can buy any of them anyways. I'm going to quickly go back and try and pick up one of these red hearts. I'm a little upset of how I... Uh, how I dealt with um, my money there. I kind of got hit a bit too much, and it... It wrecked me a little bit. I still want to see if this this chalice thing has been affecting my health at all. Because I feel like it has been. I don't know why, but I feel like it's giving me like a broken heart each time I use it or something stupid like that. It's not, okay. Oh, oh, it's one of these rooms. I made these rooms, they're so cool. These enemies only activate after a short time. I was very confused for a moment there. Crack that open. A black sack for 15 cent. I think in this situation, if I could swap, there you go. Black rune, just get some stats. We got extra damage. Just because we don't know what we're getting there. I feel it's a bit more reliable to do that. Oh god, that's a really rough room right there. Really rough room. 
Okay, let's keep going. I really want to try and get my money into a really decent spot because we kind of let it die a little bit there and I keep letting it die over and over again because I keep getting hit. We're always going to be on zero money if I keep getting hit. <laughs> I want to buy that black sack. They're worth quite a lot. Or potentially worth quite a lot at least. They can give you some utter trash. I will agree. There's some money. Also, yeah, I just want my speed to be back up to two. <laughs> Ah, everything you loved got deleted. Another black sack. We'll check the shop in case we get the money. Ooh, this is a very, very good um, area for us as long as we don't get hit too much. That's going to be a lot of money. And a lot of speed. God damn, the fact that you only have to have 30 coins to get up to that much is insane. I probably should have de won some of that, by the way. That was kind of a bad idea. Oh, what, what am I doing? I, I need to drop this. I'm stupid. Nope. Right. We actually have quite a lot of money now. Let's try and not get hit. Burn Penny's pretty good. We do have a 20 cent item here. We'll take that. Cube of Rot. Eh. It's whatever. We'll redo this room because we have the option to. Be funny if it spawned another shop. Right. Imagine this uh, this setup with um, all these shop items with like the coupon as an extra active. Oh my god, this bloody poop is so devious. Another one of them. I'm liking this though. We've got like a full on like moving shop setup. It's kind of funny. A cube of rot seems to have teleported. I'm not quite sure what that means. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't see there was one at this side as well. My goodness. And now there's an item that we can't afford. How very upsetting. How very upsetting. I did not see that at all. Okay, that, that was a mistake. Okay, so I guess we're uh, out of luck with that. We would have been able to buy that had I not been hit. God damn it. Right, let's just get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. See if we can find a secret room real quick. Did find an identified pill. Health up. Not, not that we need it, but good to know. We probably can't actually find out other secret room here. I think it's against this wall, which would be awesome because we can get into our boss trap room if it is. There you go, it is. Go in here and see what item we end up getting. I mean, we might as well just take it. Hey, actually, that's pretty good. Bumbino in this area. Interesting. Not who I, was, like, who I was expecting to see, I'll say that. We're wrecking him on the damage department. Oh, Reap Creep's a bit of a pain. God, our Cuba Rot's just, like, poisoning the hell out of everything. It's great. Okay, I actually broke a modem on this guy. It's pretty awesome. I think he's on Brimstone Eye now. I never know visually which eye is the Brimstone one. I need to learn that. Nice. Okay, pretty good stuff. Like, actually, if we if we use this, this guy, we got, like, this double lump of coal whipped cream sort of setup, which is kind of insane. It's kind of annoying that we can't use Parasitoid Tears with our Forgotten's Club. It'd be nice if we were getting a, a few spawns out of that, but we're just not. That was kind of close. Wow, we are destroying. Destroying right now. Super Bandage as well, not that that matters. Can we D7 this? Oh, ah, interesting. Not how I thought that would work. Damn it, got hit again, and again. Really shouldn't be getting hit this much. I'm playing like a bit of a fool. Yeah, I didn't know that's how that would work. But I guess we found out. It just... It takes us to the last room we had combat in and replays that. I thought it would maybe replay the boss room for some reason, even though I'm pretty sure I know that the D7 doesn't work that way, so... Bit of a silly thing for me to think. Anyways... Get the hell out of here. Bit of a spicy floor. Lost quite a lot of money, but... The D100. No, I'm not re-rolling. I like this run as it is. 
This run is actually pretty stonkers. I just like having flight more than anything. Flight and good damage. Oh, and actually, to be fair, my reflection for the insane ranger is uh, having quite a, a huge helping hand to enemies that aren't at point blank range, that is. Good, good. Tower card. Don't think we need that. There's another shop. The blank. Plus one sword heart clears all bullets and uh, slows enemies upon damage. Nice. Some enter the gungeon in this bitch. I like it. Ooh, that was kind of close. What are you buggers doing in here? This is all new to me. Mr. Dolly, hell yeah. And we got some extra soul hearts as well. Ooh, it does the blank noise and everything. It's kind of strange. I like it. Sinner's heart. Plus two black hearts, plus two damage, and then um, 1.5 times. Grants plus two range. Hell yes. Oh my god. Uh, we might have too much range. Oh my god, yeah, we might have too much range. I got 19.5 range. Makes it quite difficult to actually intentionally hit anything. Get a lot of money though, that's good. We'll place a bomb. Oh, I meant to get that in the middle of the two, but I didn't quite get there. I'm gonna just plant bombs on all of these. I got them I got the bombs. <laughs> the range we've got right now. I mean, playing as the soul is actually probably a pretty good idea. Spectral and piercing, like, with this setup is kinda nuts. Like, let's try the next room with um playing as the soul. Oh my god, yeah, we're like significantly stronger as the soul. Which is kind of nuts considering we were already very, very strong. I might need to reconsider how I play this character. Ow. It annoys me every time. Every time. Ooh, Dingleberry? I'm gonna take Dingleberry. That's a trinket I can get behind. And the quarter. Nice. Ow! Why did that hit me? I lost my eternal heart. God damn it. I mean, the burn is still pretty fucking nuts, to be honest. We are dealing significant damage with the burn. Um... I guess I'll just take this one. We got a burn heart from that. Right, grab that. This kind of a spicy one here. Um, I think we definitely play out these bad boys. Really? You, I got one usage out of that? Are you kidding me? I can't even see the chest anymore. I need to like bomb it to move it. Okay, it is empty, good. Okay, right. Now I think we wanna go boom and boom, like that. And then we can revive you with that. And then we can take that. Pop it, see what we get. Don't even know what we lost there, but... Flight and speed is good. Horror Babylon is interesting. Not great. Grab that again. Cyanide. Cyanide's gonna give us that black heart so we can go back as our soul version. Okay, that was uh, rather rather risky, but... We came out... We came out in a decent, decent light there, I think.
we came out in a decent light. Let's just hope we don't take too much stupid damage early on. Just, just, just remember that our range is just ridiculous. We've got so many leeches, my god. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even get to see what was there. It just made me buy it straight away. Book of Sin. God damn, these leeches are going crazy. These leeches do be going nuts. Oh god, oh god, that was a horrible spawn. Right, give me some more red hearts so I don't lose any of these burn hearts, please, game. Ooh, hello. Drops knives from all of, uh, above dealing two times your damage. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Not seen this card before. Let's try that out. Always makes me worry that it's just going to crash my game when I use it, but this this one, I feel like it can't. That, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, Yes, we'll buy that. What? Uh, apparently walking into a blended... Okay, I'm going to have to bug report that one second. Let me just uh, screenshot. Just just to make sure I have a, a bug report of that. Because that is a blended heart from Repentance Plus. Plus the chalice causing some weird issues. I, I managed to collect the heart multiple times. That, yeah, that was just strange. I collected the hat multiple times without having to buy it, which is not intended. Oh, that was really dumb. That was really dumb. But, if we go back over here... Boom. <laughs> We've just got a bit of infinite HP sitting there. You see, this is why Dingleberry is amazing. This will surely yield me more than... Nope. I got one penny out of that. I legit got one penny out of that golden penny. Right. Whatever you are, you're going down. Nice. Cuba meat for my, uh, my, my cube of rot. Oh, wait. It gave me a cube of rot as well? Okay. Intriguing. Maybe it like spreads to the other ones or something. I'm not sure. I kind of like that. Don't know if it's intentional. Don't really care. Oh, broken murder. You're saving my ass right now. I mean, I just don't have to deal with difficult enemies. I do find broken murder fun on those, funny on those guys though, where they just like fucking teleport. I have three hit you so far. That's five hits to kill. Oh, you had a tear hanging there. Broken Modem screwed me that time. I found a bug. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, let's blow these guys up and get them out of the way. Yeah, so I'm going to bug report this as well. Uh, I need to kind of just maneuver everything away from the purchasable glitched heart. Oh my god. <laughs> um, let's just try and bomb to get them away. Doesn't really work, does it? My goodness. Right, let's, uh, let's try bombing ourselves to, uh, make a little room here. Didn't really work, did it? Got all this money. <laughs> this is nuts. Okay, so, bomb this to try and get them off the, off the heart. I just want to take a screenshot. Right, um, F. Okay, let's go and put a bug report in now before I forget to, uh, 
Mr. Seems Good, I believe is his name. Um, right, let's go over to him now. Here we go, here we go. Bug to report. Had this chalice item that spawns purchasable parts. Seems really broken with rep plus hearts can buy them repeatedly uh, well actually when I touch touch the heart it acts as if I didn't buy it but spawns a ton of parts as you can see here boom book report done also let's step on this a little bit more and just have fun <laughs> it's so stupid i love it <laughs> oh a little broken room love that love a bit of brokenness in my game we could technically get infinite damage from that if we kept hurting ourselves and uh, getting the black hearts that give you a bit of damage. But that would be kind of difficult. <laughs> hey! Chocolate milk. Hell yes. Boom. This should do uber damage. Whoa! That's a lot of text. <laughs> get one shot. I don't want the enraged soul, thank you. I am good. I just want my big burn. All I want is big burn. All anyone wants is big burn. It reaches so far and does so much damage, it's crazy. Oh my god, baby plum, basically one shot. Ooh, we got a shop there as well. Yep, there you go, one shotting baby plum. I'll check out the card at least. It's just chariot. I don't think we really need the chariot. I can still tap fire to do normal hits. Right. Let's get ready for this boss. Who are you? Your mum's heart. Oh god. Yeah, that was a mistake on my behalf there. Right. Now you're dead. Devil deal here as well. Hello. Damocles. We had issues with Damocles before and we don't have a respawn. So I'm a little uh, scared to do this. But I do kind of want to. I got my shadow that time. Okie dokie. Um... Damocles is super risky. I think I'm going to take... Take Damocles. Pop it. Grab that back. And then what does this do? Grants you... Grants you... Grants you onch familiar. What? Uh, on death, if you... <laughs> if you have any uh, item familiars besides onch, revive you and remove... Them instead. Entremilly becomes more powerful. Okay, so I think we should take that. We got Leviathan out of that, which is nice. But now we've got this little baby familiar here. Um, that basically will act as a revive. But I took that because now we have an escape from Damocles. We get the benefits of Damocles, but we have an escape from Damocles. <gasps> Mysterious liquid, hell yeah. God damn my leeches. And I got a big green bone now too, which is just funny. Big green bone, big green bone. Oh, I bought a key. The, there needs to be a little timer on that to make sure you can accidentally pick up those immediately as they spawn. It's a little unfair that you can accidentally uh, just buy something that you didn't intend to buy. Especially when it's like you could have bought an item and instead you accidentally buy a key. That was such a bad idea. Why did I go through the middle? 
science will never be able to answer. <laughs> and our flies are doing ridiculous damage as well. It's quite beautiful. Quite. So we still technically haven't been hit yet, so Damocles isn't even active yet, I don't think. Wait, we killed those guys bef like before that guy protected them. That was weird. I didn't know you could do that. This seems secret roomy to me. Boom, boom, bow. Thank you. I love it when I can do that, when you're just like, oh, that seems like a secret room, and it just is. Even though you don't have mapping and, like, no real way of knowing. You just have the feeling. Okay, I don't know what hit me then, but something hit me. So now Damocles is activated. Thank you. And thank you. I pheromones and it killed everything. I'm not quite sure why. Hey, one of the leeches is ours. Nah, neither of these leeches are ours. Oh my god. The damage we can get from just one swing. One swing is all it takes. Hopefully, um, Broken Murdom saves us here. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I'm impressed. Alright, one more of them. Good, good. Use a chalice, buy a black heart for four cent, why not? And then see what doubled items we get here. Hopefully some beautiful stuff. We did indeed get some beautiful stuff here. We got foul gut, which is whatever. I'm just going to take it. We've already got full broughton hearts anyways. We got ludo, which is always a, a laugh and a half with this guy. Especially with that. We got the bloody Tech 5 thing that's a bit crazy. We got that. That. And that. Yeah, some crazy stuff. It's very hard to hit the Ludo tier, I'll say that. Because of our range. Mutant Spider. The charge up is quite quite horrible right now, but. Oh boy, when we when we hit it. Makes all shops free. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Does it make all shop items free or all shops free? Because those two are very different things and one of them's very, very powerful. Okay, no. That'd be crazy if it made those shops free as well. Imagine that. Anyways, yeah, te tech um the te tech three point one four, whatever it's called, is insane. Um, I'm gonna go through all the uh, Ipecac items soon and kind of go over what's what's not balanced. Boom bow. I'm loving it with my reflection, though. It's looking very wacky. Very wacky indeed. Oh, God. Black heart again. I don't think we need that. Oh, Cricket's body. Hell yeah. Oh, we can't afford it. Hell. I need money. Give me a few pennies. Rock good. Hello. Need some pennies. Damn it. They're just bombs. Oh my god, it won't give me a single penny. Very upsetting. There's another glitched heart there for uh for glitchy glitchies. This is how we get our money. There you go. That's enough money. All right, let's go back and get Cricket's body. I don't even know how it'll work with this, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the lag that it's going to cause. Oh, yes. 
it works exactly as I was hoping it would. My god. We are demolishing everything, it's great. I think we're meant to be going to Mega Sit in this fight. I've, I've, I've not been listening to the boss pass for a while now, I'll be honest. This was just wherever. There you go. Ooh, we got Void. We might as well. Well, we got Damocles active. Why not? I'm going to beeline it to the boss, though. I don't really care about exploring every avenue. Oh, we got Steam Sale. I didn't even think about that. Everything's half price. Calm down, boys. Just looking for my bosses. <laughs> this is so nuts. Right, here's a boss. Not delirium, so we do get extra items. Ooh, we could split delirium. That's something that people do that's just an awful idea. You can meat cleaver him into oblivion. You can just li literally, he's the only boss that you can infinitely meat cleaver until it just crashes your game. Um, speed upgrade is pretty nice. Fire rate increase is pretty damn good right now. God damn. That was one of those thingy champions as well. A Robros Worm for an extra bit of range. <laughs> yes. You've got to have the wackiness. Gotta have the wackiness. Let me leave. Thank you. Oh my god. I literally don't even have to shoot. This uh, this tech alpha really needs a pretty solid nerf. It's like, it's meh in some situations and literally run winning in others. If you have decent damage, it's just obscene. Look at that. Didn't even have to try. Please give me fire it. It did good. But not that we'll not that we'll be firing anyways, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is gonna be a really hard enemy to make shoot us. There you go, we got him, we got him. Oh, they have to trick him into it. More of the void. Intriguing. Oh, we got another uh, another item there. We don't have any money right now, though. There's not much point even checking it. Good, good. Oh, we got that big charger worm look. He's our friend as well. We also got Plan C. I'm not going to use Plan C on Delirium, because I know you can. There's a there's a, a tactic to it where you, like, buffer with the uh, start menu. You buffer his death animation. And you can actually do it. You can you can fully kill him with uh, Plan C and still get the achievement. But at the same time, I, I kind of don't want to do that. Also, if you do die, I don't think it counts as a win towards the streak even, even then. Where on earth is our boy? There he is. Right, do we even need to fire is the question. What's what's the consensus here? Probably not, right? I got hit once. We don't have homing, so we do actually have to, like, keep an eye on where our lasers are hitting. Oh, when he's in this form, we need to be dealing maximum damage. Oh, wait, is he dead? He might be dead. I don't know what's going on. He's got to be dead, right? Okay, he's dead. Wow. Wow. That was pretty instant. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely obscene run. Very, very fun indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.